Welcome back to Cami Designs and today we're going to go over a double crochet. In previous videos we've went over a chain, single crochet, a half double crochet, front post and back post, and today we're going to go over a double crochet. Now I've single crocheted one row on here of a different color so you'll be able to see the difference. Now the half double crochet was in my last video and that is here in this row here or these three rows. Now this is a double crochet. So to turn my row first I want to chain you can either chain two or chain three. We're going to do a chain two. Now I, I always turn my turn my projects from the front. Some people prefer to turn from the back. If a project tells you to turn it a certain way, that's what I would do. But if not, do what was, feels comfortable to you. So, I'm going to count, I'm not going to count this as a double crochet. So I need to go into this first loop here. So you yarn over into the first loop, yarn over, pull through. And you'll see you have three loops on your hook. So you yarn over, pull through two, and you're left with two. So yarn over and pull through the last two. That is a double crochet. So yarn over into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, you have three. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you just keep doing that. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Sorry if my five-year-old's a little distracting. <laughs> He's getting excited <laughs> about something. So yarn over, in, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is a double crochet. And I will continue to do this to the end of the row here so you can see the difference. Two, two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, two, yarn over, two. And you just keep going. I find this more comfortable to do than the half double crochet. And it does add length faster than a single crochet or a half double crochet. But you will have these bigger holes than you would through a single crochet or even a half double crochet. And so we just keep going here through two, like this. So give me some yarn to work with here. So go in, two, two, yarn over, two, two, yarn over, oops, if I get yarn over, two, and two, and half double crochet is used a lot in, like if you want to make granny squares, that is what you use the most of is half, or sorry, is a double crochet. So you just keep going here. And you will see that it does increase the your project lengthwise. And there we go. There's one row of double crochet. So that's one row right there, whereas a single crochet was just this little one. And then your half double crochet is this one here. So a little bigger of a hole than you would down here with, it's, with it all being single crochet. And then your double crochet is here. And how I can tell a double crochet just by looking at it is you will see that it's got 
two different twist sets in here. So that was the first two stitches I pulled through, and this is, was the last two stitches I pulled through. So it's not, it's not hard to see that it's a double crochet versus a half double crochet. Half double crochet has only got these three loops here where this has got one, two, three, four. But I will go on to the next row here. And I'm trying to pick yarns that show up well on camera. But if for some reason you're having a problem seeing the stitches, just feel free to leave a comment and I will, if I need to do another video in a different color to make it more visible for you, I will try to do that. And then this is just my add-on. So I want to do my next row. I chain two. I'm going to turn. And I'm going to count this now as a double crochet. So I'm going to skip this first loop here. So go into my second one here and work a few double crochets. And same with my other video, I'm going to show you the difference between a front post and a back post. This is, if a pattern calls for just double crochet, you, this is how you will do it. You'll go through the complete V. To do a back post double crochet, which the pattern will tell you, it'll either be um, a B DC, which is a back post double crochet, or B P DC, or it'll say back post. So to work a back post, you go through your back V like this, yarn over, and you want to pull through just like you would a regular double crochet. You're just the only difference is you're going through the back post only, and yarn over, pull through the two, yarn over, pull through two. And I'll just do a couple more of the back post. So a back post, it's hard to tell. Maybe I'll do a few more. So you can see a back post. Okay, let's see that now. So a back post is like that. So it leaves this little ridge here, or a little edge, from that front part of the V that you did not work. And then to do a front post, you only go through the front V. And that will put your ridge to the back of your work. And we keep going here. We'll do a few more front post once and now I will go through and do my regular double crochet and just like this just like that so I have here once again shown I want to pull my loop so I don't start pulling out stitches and I have my back post. This right here is front post. It doesn't look a whole lot different, just a little bit. But when you look to the back of it, you will see, let me turn it here so you can see, you have just, it looks just like the other one with the ridge. So that is your double crochet back post, front post, and then back to regular. And I hope that shows up well enough that you can see that. And I just want to thank people for watching and please like and subscribe. And remember, once I get 2,000 subscribers, I will start giving away free patterns from my Ravelry store. I will put a link if you still want to look at my Ravelry store. I'll put a link in the description and 
I, where I have patterns for sale, I have knit and crochet patterns. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And I just wish you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.